Hi guys, good morning. In this video, we are gonna see the problem merge case sorted list. In this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you five ways to solve this problem, and like you're gonna love it. It will be never you have ever seen before. So if you guys like it, then please hit the like button. If you guys like it, maybe later. But if you have been watching it for now, so like you can like it. It motivates me a lot. So let's quickly jump to the problem. It says that uh, we are given the K link list as list cool each link list is sorted in ascending order every list is sorted in ascending order cool we have to merge all these k lists into a one sorted list which means that if we have these k lists so i have to convert that into one single list and that should be sorted cool so let's take the first example if we have this list as one four five it's a link list firstly which means that i will i will have the head of every link list it's pointing here and here which means one three four and two six i will just convert that into a new link list or maybe i just have this link list as my answer which is a sorted one and has all the elements of the scale link list let's say the elements are n in total the elements are n so the output will have all the n elements in the sorted order and as you can see it's the answer and it's the same that we have to say, take care of the edge conditions that okay if the list has no elements or if the list has no list at all which means the list is itself empty has having no link list so i need to return an l because it's not possible so let's see with the first approach as i said i'll show you the five approaches first one comes right here it's pretty simple pretty pretty awesome that okay this is a brute force i'll just see okay all these elements are here i can make a simple array or a vector out of all these elements i can just iterate on every list side by side parallelly okay one four five one three four i can just push in all these elements one four five one three four two six which means just o of n for this iteration and ultimately i can just make it sorted which means o of n log n for just a simple sorting algorithm after that i can just make a new link list out of this particular array and it will be nothing but my output link list trying to return O of n log n because of sorting part and O of n because of using that spatially vector or array for storing that. Okay, it's good, but it's not optimal for sure. Let's see another method which is comparing every element one by one. What it means is that if we have these elements, which means my head is pointing right here, right? It's pretty simple. So I can just compare all these starting elements because for sure all these are sorted, which means the rest of the elements will be for sure bigger than the starting elements. So I can just compare all these k elements and whosoever is the smallest one, I'll just put it at the beginning, which means that I have these k elements. I'll just say, okay, what's the minimum, what's the minimum, uh, minimum value? That's one. Index, you can have zero or one. Let's say I, I take it as a zero. Okay, cool. Then what will happen is I can have it in my output, which is particular one right here. And ultimately what would happen is this particular one is gone. Next, what comes is four. So I have the new one as four, one and two. Now again, I can compare all these key elements and I can see, okay, what's the minimum one? It's again one. So it's gone now. I will push it in my output. So it's easily you can see that for every node, kind of we are seeing all the k nodes right this is the complexity is of n into k n is all the elements and for every as you can see to choose one element right here to choose one element right here i just have to look at the k elements which means the k list starting part which is this to choose every element and it's for n elements so it's n of k space it can be both o of n and o of 1 O of n when actually we make a new link list which means new nodes or O of 1 if we can do it in place which means that okay I just use this node so rather than duplicating this node I can use the exact same node here so I don't have to make a new node because the node is used right the node is used so I can just use the same node right here right right here I don't have to make a new node so I'm just using the same node. So the space is O of one. Cool. It's done. Let's see another method. It's the same method. It's just that, okay, we'll see how we can optimize it. We are just thinking of optim optimizing stuff. We were choosing minimum of the K elements, right? We had this thing. We need to choose the minimum of the K elements. 
why not if we want to choose minimum at every step out of some elements here comes our guru of priority queue which means that if i have these k elements and you choose the minimum element i can just push in all these k elements in my priority queue which will actually we, will, we can make this priority queue in of k log k because the elements are k at the beginning so the priority queue will be made initially in o of k log k then i have all these one one and two elements in my priority queue now i need a minimum one i'll ask my, I'll, I'll, I'll ask my min heap okay what is the minimum value it will return me the topmost node which is in o of log k it can return me the node one i can just put it in my output the node one and i can again move on as the same as the same as we saw now as you saw above now it is done we got it earlier we got the same node in o of k now because of priority queue we are getting the same node in o of log k that is we optimized our answer and now the same thing now it just moved forward now we have four one and two which means that we'll push four in my priority queue now the answer i'll i'll see okay what's the minimum value what's the minimum in my min heap it will re return me this one i will just push it in my node and similarly i'll just move on going so o of k, of k log k for making my min heap at the starting because of k elements and o of n log k at every n element i am seeing what's the minimum element out of the k elements and that's the log k operation so for every element i'm seeing okay thus it's ultimately o of n log k we consider one thing that k is less than n much less than n because k lists are there and n are total elements so we assume that the k is much less than n so it's the reason that ultimate complexity is o of n log k and same as the above one if we are actually using our special particular thing then we have nodes we make a copy of nodes but as we saw that we can just keep the nodes but it's of one to keep the nodes as it is we are not making new nodes but as the heap itself has a size of k which means that the heap itself is storing k elements so it's taking k that's the reason we have a o of 1 plus k thus the complexity is o of k space complexity let's quickly see the code of priority queue although it's not the optimal code but still i'm showing because mostly people show this code but it's not the optimal code right now uh, it's just that we simply made a min heap which is the priority queue of min heap uh, here i just had the number which means the value to the node so that i can just store my priority queue in the form of min heap which means the minimum value and after that i just moved in my priority queue grabbed the minimum node and see okay if it is not null then i'll just push it in my answer which means that i just had this value of dummy head and dummy tail so basically i'll just push that minimum node and also i need to push the next element of that minimum node because ultimately the next element of that minimum node let's say the minimum, minimum node was one here right here right so it is used but i need to push in the four right because after that four will come so here i'm just pushing in the next element after choosing that minimum element and as i have this dummy tail which means i'll just move on ending 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 which means if i am at one so here it's pointing my dummy tail which helped me to push in the next element next my dummy tail will point here next it will point here it will just help me to push in the next element cool no worries and ultimately i'll just, I'll just move my dummy tail forward even forward even forward because ultimately i just wanted to push in my next element and ultimately i'll just return the dummy head dot next because because i have put a dummy head in the beginning because initially i have nothing so i just put a head and after that i'm attaching values 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 and as i as i put this head so i just put return head next here at the same thing but let's see a better thing if we can let's see okay um maybe we can optimize it how about if we have these lists right and if we take a pair of lists at a time and i merge it 
which means I grabbed these two lists and I merged it. Then I got a list, particular let's say link list like this. Then I used like list right here and the list right here and then merged it. So I will get a new list. I can do the same thing like this, right? Why not? I grabbed the first and the second list standard merging of two sorted list, which I can do it in O of N. If the, if both the list one and list two have in total N elements, so I can merge these two lists in O of N. So I can grab these two lists by just using a pointer. So let's say a pointer pointing here, a pointer pointing here, one and one. Both are, it's, it's the pointing, it sees, okay, which one is smaller? Oh, for now both are same. So anyone I can move ahead. So let's say I move ahead this. Now I have pushed this in my list one array, which means the output array. Now one and four, which, which one is smaller? One is smaller. So I use it, use it, use it in my output array and then move ahead. Three and four, which one is smaller? Three is smaller. Okay, use it, move ahead. Four and four, which is smaller? Both are same. No worries. Move, move ahead. Four and null. Oh, null we can't compare. So it's done. So I can just add these two elements at the end. With this, I can just take two elements and just have that in sorted in O of N. So I just got this list one and it was because of sorting these two lists, but one list was also remaining. So I just grab that list and again, I will just sort them by just same using these two pointers and then I get my output list. So you saw one thing what happened to sort a two list to solve a two list a complexity was o of n right which means that if in total the n elements are there in the, in these two lists but then i'm repeating that same thing for these k minus one pairs because ultimately i'll get one out of this then i'll just pair it again so if basically if these have if we have these let's say these many lists so one thing will grab from here then i'll just grab one from here then grab one from here then grab one from here and then grab one from here. So basically ultimately a number of pairs will be made K or K minus one, both are kind of same because it's complexity, right? And for every pair in total, my complexity would be needing O of N if considering both these pairs have N elements, but in total I have N elements. So it's, it's just O of K into N, but, but, but you see one thing, what happened? my space complexity, it reduced to O of one. So if anyone asks you, okay, Aryan, I am not worried about, about my whole time. I just need my space to optimize. You can return this thing. It's optimized than the above priority Q1 because that priority Q was taking space of O of K, which I, let's say I don't want. So it's optimized, but, but, but can you optimize it further? Because the time O of N into K, oof, it's pretty worse. Let's see, we can, we can, we can, for sure we can. We can use the same logic rather than merging two consecutive lists, we can break the list into log case, like log case steps, which means that if I have this list, if you have seen merge sort or something like that, you would be very easily able to connect it. But still, if, not, if not, then I'm here to connect with you. If I have this list, I can break it into two halves. Half element, which means half K list, which means if in total I have lists which are K, right? I break a K by two list in the left half, K by two in the right half. Now, ultimately for this problem, I have these two lists, let's say, let's say like nothing else is below, but let's say I have a sorted list and a sorted list of K by two of K by two. Now I just have to merge it, right? I have this half list and this half list. And these two lists are there, I have to just merge it. So I don't think I just need anything else apart from just merging and this merging you itself know, right? It takes just two of n time. Lovely, because it's sorted and we can use these two pointers, but these two are lists are not sorted, right? It will just go down, break it into another two more lists. Everything will break down into these two lists. Ultimately, ultimately when it goes down, ultimately how it will break up is single, single list, one list, one list, which means list of nodes, list of nodes. Now we already know that to just merge a two list, it just takes O of 
वॉट्स एवर एलिमेंट्स आर देर लेट्स ए स्मॉल एन एलिमेंट्स आर देर एंड वी जस्ट नो दिस थिंग एंड वॉट वी आर डूइंग इज एट एवरी स्टेप लेट्स ए हेयर ओनली देयर आर ओ ऑफ बिग एन एलिमेंट्स विच इज विच मीन्स द ऑल एलिमेंट्स इट विल ओनली टेक बिग ऑफ ओ ऑफ एन टाइम बिकॉज वी आर जस्ट हैविंग ऑल दीज लिस्ट एंड वी आर जस्ट मर्जिंग इट बट वी आर मर्जिंग द स्टेप हाउ मेन टाइम्स लॉक की टाइम्स यू अंडरस्टूड इट वाई बिकॉज इफ वी हैव दिस लिस्ट वी ब्रोक इन टू के बाई टू एंड अनदर के बाई टू दिस के बाई टू दिस के बाई टू एंड देन अनदर लाइक वी ब्रोक इट देन अनदर के बाई टू एंड देन अनदर के बाई फोर के बाई फोर के बाई फोर सो वी विल अप्लाई अ मर्जिंग हेयर वी विल अप्लाई मर्जिंग हेयर ऑन एन एलिमेंट्स बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली इट्स एन एलिमेंट्स राइट के बाई फोर लिस्ट हर हेयर के बाई फोर लिस्ट हर हेयर के बाई फोर लिस्ट हर हेयर एंड के बाई फोर लिस्ट हर हेयर इन टोटल लिस्ट आर के विच इन टोटल हैज एन एलिमेंट्स सो एट एवरी स्टेप आई एम मर्जिंग एन एलिमेंट्स एंड हाउ मेनी स्टेप्स आर देयर as we are just breaking my list of size k into half every time so it just goes to log k to the base 2 number of steps which means the length of the recursion is log k and at every step i am just merging my list which takes o of n time thus its complexity is o of n into log k you got it n n is for merging list like n number of list here it is two specifically because at every step i am merging two list here i am merging this to this and here i am merging this to this i am not merging this to this right so in total i am merging n elements but a pair of two in a in a in a, in a pair of two which is actually o of n and how many number of times i have to do it my length of recursion my depth of recursion is log k which means at every step i have to do it Which is log k. Its complexity is O of n log k, which is as equal to as the priority given which we saw. But the best part is the space complexity is also log k because at every step you are just storing the depth or the head pointer of this recursion, and its and its whole depth is log k. So the recursion will at max go up till the log k thing. Thus, the space complexity is reduced to log k. Thus, it is the optimal space complexity which we can have. Let's quickly see the code. Firstly, I just had this base condition which I saw in the beginning. Cool. Then I have this helper function which will actually help me to apply this recursion part. So it will help me for recursion. Now, how recursion will happen is is this a base condition of recursion? If my start is more than end or if my start is equal to end, which means I have one list which is found. So I'll just return that particular list and then i'll just have a mid i'll just break my particular list into two halves which means start to mid and mid plus 1 to end start to mid and mid plus 1 to end which means i have got these two list as i've got these two list i also have to merge it i made another function called as merge these function this merge function is just nothing but using a two pointer approach to actually merge two sorted list It just says okay if the both heads are not null, whosoever is smaller will be merged. Whosoever is smaller here, it 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 will be merged. And ultimately, I'll just move the same thing as I did. And to me next after that, the remaining part who which whichever list is remaining as we saw right four and five it was remaining in the last problem. So I can just. Put it the remaining part of any list. Let's say list one and list two. List two is finished, but list 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 one is still remaining. So the remaining list, remaining part of the list which is remaining, I just put it here, and ultimately I just return my head next of dummy. So I hope that you guys enjoyed every part of this problem. That how we reach from very 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 brute force to actually the most 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 optimal solution. it's one of the best problem you can ever see that it okay it has so many steps of improvement i hope that you guys liked it if yes then do hit the like button it helps you motivate a lot a lot a lot and yeah see you guys in next video in the lane see you goodbye take care